here is another thing that I see stair builders doing that might not be necessary and that would be adding more stringers or doubling up the stair stringers and keep in mind that I will not be able to tell you whether or not you need to do this but I can tell you that I see it plenty of times on the exterior of a building and if it is then you could end up with a water trap and this would be a small gap that would allow water to get trapped in between the lumber and I'm sure some of you have seen videos where you can put some type of a waterproof membrane on top of the double stringers but that can also lead to a problem so my suggestion would be to maybe add one or two washers in between the stringers and then go ahead and run a bolt through them if you're looking for a stronger stringer something like this is going to allow the water to drain out of the area in between the stringers or instead of doubling up the stringers you can just simply lay them out a little different however something like this might require a few more nails and could make it difficult to create a straight line between the other stringers so that you don't end up with squeaking stairs or you can use larger lumber you can use lumber that's going to be wider or taller so instead of using a 2x12 you could always use a 4x12 or a 6x12 or use a 4x14 or a 6x14 or even a single 2x14 instead of a 2x12. And if that isn't working for you, then maybe you can use larger risers or even larger treads. And I'm not about to suggest that you use any of these methods in this video without considering the ultimate option of cutting a huge, massive tree down and carving your own stairway out of a solid piece of lumber. And of course, I'm just joking. Because unless you're going to be installing a stairway that needs to be structurally stronger for an industrial or commercial building, for example, then you're probably going to be better off just using the standard construction practices that have been working just fine for decades. And next up, let's go ahead and look at how longer treads affect the width of a stair stringer. And I see this a lot. Someone has a short stair stringer, maybe three or four steps, and they cut it out of a 2x10, or they purchase a pre-cut stair stringer that would have been cut out of a 2x10. And that would be 9.5 inches from here to the tip when you would lay out the stair stringer if you laid it out in a conventional and standard method. Now here's a 2x10 stair stringer with a 7 and 3 quarter inch riser and an 11 inch tread and it has about a 3 and an eighth inch, 3 and a quarter inch. We used to call this the meat of the stair stringer. You know this isn't very much. This is less than a 2x4 and I'm not suggesting that this set of stairs will ever fall apart. And of course you could always nail some support boards underneath it like some wall framing studs or you could add a 2x4 or a 2x6 to the side of it kind of a thing to reinforce it. However that won't be necessary if you use a 2x12. And here you're going to have about 5 and an eighth of an inch. Now 5 inch seems like that's plenty of lumber to um, use it for the structural strength. Three inches, uh, that's just probably not going to cut it, especially on a longer set of stairs with no support braces underneath it. Now you can always design these stairs accordingly. If you're going to be using supports underneath them or if you are going to have uh, some type of supports that you are going to attach to the side of them and then it's not going to be a problem. So I don't want to just throw it out there and say, hey, wait a minute, you got to use 2 by 12. It's going to depend upon the design of the stairway. But by now you're starting to get the picture here, 11 inch tread, 7 and 3 quarter inch riser, 2 by 12. This is how much meat we got left on the stringer. 2 by 14 is going to be even larger and I don't think this is necessary for a small set of stairs. But if you're going to be using a longer stringer, something that's going to be 10 to, let's just say, 16, 20 foot long, something like that, then this is definitely going to help you, especially if you don't have a lot of supports 
bracing, wall framing studs for the stairway. So you're just gonna have a freestanding stairway with 14 steps on it. Two by 14 is probably gonna create a nice structurally strong stairway. Now here's where the problem starts to um, happen. Instead of having an 11 inch tread, we have a 13 inch stair tread, one foot, one inch stair tread. Now we're gonna have six inches. If this was a two by 12, we would have four inches. If it was a two by 10, we would have two inches. Not going to make us, not going to make the structural engineer or the property owner happy. And if we add two inches to the step again, making it a 14 inch, a 15 inch stair step, I mean, 15 inch step, seven and three quarter inch riser. Now we're down to four and 13 sixteenths which would be about four and three quarters, four and seven eighths, something like that here. And this still might be acceptable depending upon the length of the stair stringer and the design of the stairway. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up right here because I don't see any other need to go longer and have this measurement go smaller. I think by now you get the picture of how a longer, stair step, um, stair tread that is going to be deeper in depth is going to create problems for your structural stair stringer. So longer steps are probably going to require stringers. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.